the concept of Boogie Wolf itself came about from the combination of my interest in the classical horror, you know, like Wolfman, Phantom of the Opera, Dr. Caligari, um, paired with my interest in the 80s genre, the slashers, the boogeyman. So it's sort of a combination of boogeyman and wolfman being boogie wolf. Simplicity. I mean, it's a great piece of equipment. It's small, sleek, compact. When I was shopping around, I was already planning on removing the passenger seat and placing something there. And I stumbled into Merchmaker, and the second I saw it, I knew that's, that's the setup. All things horror in the macabre. I mean, it's nearly impossible to watch a horror film without being flooded with tons of ideas, whether it's a character, a phrase, uh, you know, you watch one and you just want to put it on something. You want to draw something, you want to pay homage to that character by recreating them in your own style. Uh, they stand alone as beautiful and classic on their own, and I think that's what keeps this continued draw for people um, and this resonance over hundreds of years, you know? Well, I believe that horror itself, the genre, taps into a deep psychology of mortality, death, uh, our fear of that, the, the unknown there. Um, so I think there's something there that we all gravitate towards, relate to, whether it be the monster, the psycho, mortality or death itself. Um, I think it lends itself to a, a powerful community and my philosophy is to tap into that and use my abilities to sort of create a tribe, if you will, of uh, horror aficionados. Favorite of the two, that's tough. I mean, I love The Creature from the Black Lagoon. I love the whole trilogy. I think it's a solid three set. I like the idea of he's a missing link between fish and man and really all he wants to do is find love and uh, connect with a female. So, you know, obviously as a man throughout my life I could relate to that. Um, but then I also enjoy Frankenstein's monster and his just overall disconnect with the world and with humanity and mortality. Um, just even understanding who he is, I think we can all tap into that as well. But uh, naturally, overall, I would have to go with the Wolfman, of course. I would have to say, outside of Wolfman, obviously, my favorite, because I think it's really comical and playful, would be uh, 1985's Return of the Living Dead. Uh, it came out the year I was born. I just love the concept of the punk rocker kids in the graveyard and the chemical leak and just how things spiral and unroll. It's, it's very humorous, but um, also has a lot of great effects for the time, great soundtrack, so I think I would have to give it to Return of the Living Dead. I think we chose each other, and it sort of just started as a fun little hobby. Just the culmination of interests and ideas and intrigue sort of snowballed into this Boogie Wolf thing. The rest has kind of been history since then. I had uh, experimented with it a lot in college and enjoyed it. Um, I hadn't had a setup since, um, but I've always enjoyed the concept of multiples. Um, you know, if you have something that people really enjoy and connect with, it's, I think, better to be able to reproduce it easily and make it available to anyone that wants it. Um, so, after the concept sort of started to roll out, I just thought, clothing. I would have to tip my hat to Instagram um, for the most part. Yeah, that has been wildly successful in its broad reach. Uh, the community there is very easy to access. It's very easy to connect with people that share the same interests. I would have to say that Instagram has been um, a huge part of my reach and my success thus far. 
So now I'm going to go ahead and show you what a typical shirt run looks like and how I make it all work in a van. So here is the Myers in the Streets, Kruger in the Sheets screen. As you can see, we got the magnets on the sides and the magnets set into the ceilings. Well, a great place for that is the car wash. So nextly, a very important part of the process is of course heat setting your ink. So I am going to go ahead and show you how I accomplished that in the van. So that is a day in the life in the Boogie Wagon and Boogie Wolf. I am now on my way to the post office to deliver all these. Special thanks to Merch Maker for featuring me as the first artist in the spotlight and for this incredible setup. I'm gonna head out now. This is Boogie Wolf signing off. You kids stay ghoul. Cool.